Welcome back to Good Night Stories with Gail. We are back here reading Just One Night together, the story of Allison and Willem after the door opens and closes, after the kiss. We are picking up where we left off. The two of them are starting to talk about the years that they've had and about how much they remember their day together in Paris. Shall we continue? There is so much to say. It is like shoving all the sand of the world into an hourglass or trying to get it out. But Willem's phone keeps ringing. He keeps ignoring it until he remembers he promised he'd call Linus back right before he opened the door to her. Oh shit, Linus. He goes to fetch his mobile. Five missed calls. Allison looks curious. He tells her, I have to make a call. She thinks he will go into the other room to do it, but he doesn't. He sits down next to her. The conversation is, is in Dutch, so Allison doesn't understand what he's saying anyway. She can't really make out much of the look on his face either. A half smile, a shoulder shrug. She's not sure if the news is good or bad. Willem hangs up the phone. I'm the understudy for Orlando in a play. Shakespeare again. As you like it, he begins. Understudy? Allison asks. I thought you were Orlando. Only for last night's performance, and tonight's. That's what Petra had decreed, Linus had just told him. Next week, Jeroen, the actor Willem replaced, will come back, ankle cast and all, for a final weekend of performances. After this evening, Willem's services will no longer be needed as actor or understudy. But he's on for tonight. In fact, they need him to come listen to notes before the seven o'clock call. He is about to explain this all to Allison, but then he stops himself. You knew? he asks. And then she says, I was there. He shouldn't be surprised. Hadn't he felt her? Hadn't he spoken his lines to her? But after all the false hopes of the last year, and after the letter Tor had told him about, he thought he had just conjured her. Maybe he had. Maybe he had done such a fine job of it. He'd conjured her right into existence, into his uncle's flat, where she is now sitting, with her feet resting in his lap. How did that happen? He vaguely remembers grabbing her ankles and laying her feet across his legs, casually, as if they were a blanket but he can't be sure. It all feels like a dream and yet as natural as breathing. This is what you do. Put Allison's feet into your lap. You were fantastic, Allison tells him. Magnetic, it was like you were Orlando. Willem had felt a kinship with Orlando, a bereaved young man inexplicably fallen in love with a girl who came and disappeared like a wisp of smoke. But the girl came back. The girl came back. I always thought you were good, she continues, even when I saw you perform last year, the night we met, but it was nothing like last night. The night they met, he'd been doing Twelfth Night with Gorilla Will, playing Sebastian. They hadn't spoken, but he tossed her a coin at the end of the play. It was a flirtation, an invitation. God, he'd had no idea then. A lot has happened this year, Willem tells her. When Allison smiles, Willem is reminded of a sunrise, a bit of light, then more of it, then a burst of brightness. A sunrise is something you can see all the time and still marvel at. Maybe that is why her smile feels so familiar. He has seen many sunrises. No, that is not why it feels familiar. Allison, meanwhile, is remembering, why this person? All the things she told herself, or other people have told her, infatuation or Paris or good acting or lust, no longer hold water because she remembers so viscerally and feels it anew. It's not any of that. It's not even him or all him. It's her, the way she can be with him. It was so new that day, the liberation of being honest, of being brave, maybe a little stupid. She's had a bit more practice at it now. The past few weeks alone in Europe, a lot of practice. She knows this girl pretty well now. A lot has happened to me too, she tells Willem. That concludes this installment of Good Night Stories with Gail. Come back tomorrow night for another reading of Just One Night, the story of Allison and Willem after the door is open and closed. You can also go ahead and pre-order it. It comes out on May 29th and then you can read the whole thing. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow night. Good night.